it's been a pretty interesting season for you so far. Yeah. Can you give any hints about what's coming up? Um, I might get killed if I do that. No, um, I, um, I find the show just seems to get like more intense and more high stakes each episode. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, thank you. I'm endlessly impressed with what um, the crew manages to do in nine days, the quality of the show. The, um, I mean, it's like a summer blockbuster movie every week. Um, I, I find that I, I'm so impressed. Each episode, as we keep moving towards the season finale, it just keeps getting more and more intense. Um, one of my favorite things about the show is Hiro's character, Takahaya, and his wife, Kyoko, who um, are, are now on board the ship. And the show raises the question of, you know, it poses the question of, is this villain really a villain? You know, it's not so black and white. You feel for the guy. You understand where he's coming from. And Sasha, in particular, um, because she speaks Japanese, um, develops a relationship with his wife and um, uh, and understands where they're coming from. I find that really interesting. It's not just like a big bad villain up in a tower, you know, he, he's with us and uh, that really comes to a head and, and throughout the course of uh, the season. Yeah. Okay. This, this, are you suggesting that Sasha sort of not necessarily plays something but finds the finds empathy in their, Not just Sasha. in their I mean, situation. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, if you remember, she's um, pregnant um, and not well. So um, there's a human, I mean, that's my favorite thing about the show is the human aspects of, um, you know, this real humanity in these characters because they're not, these aren't people to run away from danger. All the characters on this show are going to run towards it. They're going to, they're going to fight. And so in those rare moments of humanity, and they're not often on the show, but when they are, my God, they're so powerful. Um, they, they really ring true because these aren't characters that sit and talk about their feelings and emotions. Oh, that made me feel sad when you, you know, that's not what they, this show does, you know? So um, I, I personally really enjoy those. I mean, just as much as I enjoy the action and the um, high intensity of the show, but um, yes. We're, we, we grow to understand where those characters are coming from, which I think is really great writing. Um, Sasha has been a like, mysterious character um, with her background and her current situation. Is there a side of her that we haven't seen that's going to come out? I actually didn't find her that mysterious when I joined. I found that the fans' response to it really fascinating because um, I, I, I found her to be really straightforward. Um, but I understand where they're coming from. This is a violent, scary world where people aren't who they say they are. Um, so, I, I mean, I understand where the fans are coming from, but um, I, I personally believe that everything Sasha does um, is in line with the values of the crew of the Nathan James. Yeah. Uh, touching on what you said about your character being a little mysterious, uh, obviously there's something going on there with her and the captain. Are we going to uh, find we out? See uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I still have to call him. <laughs> I know. I still have to call him Captain too sometimes. Um, so Sasha and Tom have a lot of similarities in a way. Um, you know, he calls her stubborn. She calls him stubborn. You know, they um, they also have. She still thinks of him not as the CNO, not as the captain. She remembers him before he was all these things. So she sometimes talks to him out of turn and not in the manner that she should on board this ship. But um, I like that about her. She's opinionated and and doesn't hide it. Uh, I find that appealing. But she's smart. She's skilled. She knows what she's talking about. She's the expert in this region. So. Um, Yes, their past is, I find very interesting because 
she has the ability to awaken something in him that has been dormant for a long time. Um, and at least from my perspective, it's been very interesting to put these characters in a room together who haven't seen each other in this long and discover that there may still be some feelings there. I mean, they're both, they have a lot, they're both widows, you know? This isn't their ideal situation, you know? But somehow they're back together again. And, um, you know, it's, it's, if people are just, we're all just trying to do our best and uh, survive. And for some reason, he's back in Sasha's life and he's in hers. So uh, we'll see where it goes. That all stops once the blood starts coming out the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but it sounds good. Yeah. 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 Physically, for you. I mean, you're used to action, but yeah. how tough is this? Um, you know, with other shows that I've done, there's been more freedom to do things how I wanted because then I, it's more of a character choice. Like when I played um, Dottie on Agent Carter, I watched a lot of um, Scarlett Johansson and her son Double Heidi Moneymaker's work because I wanted there to be some connection between the two, and their movement is very fluid, a lot of spins, a lot of um, rage and all that. So, I, that was the only thing I felt like I needed to get right on Agent Carter, but at the same time I felt like I could do things how I wanted to. Whereas on this show, I want to get it right. We have actual seals on set with us, and there is a right way and a wrong way to do all of this. There's still a lot of, you know, some people, like, you know, one military advisor might tell me that my, the, that the gun needs to be here. Another one will tell me it needs to be here. So there is some personal preference in it all. But overall, there is um, very formalized training, and um, I certainly want to get it right. Well, plenty on set. You know, we've had. We've, but I mean, like from, from viewers uh, who are saying, oh, you guys should nail it. Or, um, I know that. I know that everyone. You know, will have their opinion about the show, but I haven't seen. I haven't seen much of it. But I. Um, you know, in some ways, Sasha's kind of similar to Tex in, in the manner that she's not in a uniform. She's not, she's former naval intelligence, and she's, um, she is, she does kind of go to the big throne drum, but at the same time, um, she's willing to fall in line with the crew and go um, on, you know, in, in formation with them. But uh, I would love to get some feedback. I hope we're doing the crowd. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you.